During the summer of 1793, Maddie Cook lives above her coffee shop with her widowed mother and grandfather. Maddie spends her days avoiding chores and making plans to turn the family business into the finest Philadelphia has ever seen. But then the fever breaks out. Love yourself this instant. Holly's late and there's work to be done. You're saving the day away. Uh, I can't tell who's lazier. Paul, are you? I was a girl, we up for the sun and to bring chores before the chicken crowed. Matilda, now! You shouldn't still be in bed! I just saved your precious quilt. Do you appreciate it? No, of course not. Mother had been a perfect girl. She, her family was quite wealthy, but that didn't stop her from waking up and stitching entire quilts before breakfast and spinning miles of wool before tea. It was the war, she told me. Children did what they were asked of. But she never complained. Oh, no, never. Good children were seen and not heard. How utterly unlike me. I'm stuck here. Coming! A week later, 64 people had got, died. No one knew why. Rumors of fever snaked through the city. People down by the river came up to our end of High Street, where the air was cleaner. They made our strong bucks delightfully strong. There was little time to mourn for Polly. I slept day and night working on chores. Sleep became more precious to me than food. One night, well, while cleaning out the necessary, I fell asleep and woke up, glad that I had not fallen in. We need extra eggs, hard cheese, pippin, apples, and savory, and lemons. I'll have to go to the market again. You're too tired, Lucille. Send a child to the market. No, Matilda must stay home. It is uncommonly warm, isn't it? Grandfather's right, you need your rest. Let me go. You fuss for days because you don't like her serving customers. Let her run the market er errands. It would clear her head. Young people need fresh air. Well, I was thinking of sending her to the loading pit that went in. You encouraged her to go deeper into town. Must you be so gloomy, woman? You see darkness in every corner. Sending her away, your own child, you shock me. The Lunningtons aren't even family. I can't see wisdom in that. We'll have, we'll have to consider this at some length. If I don't go soon, everything will be either bought or spoiled. People don't stop eating eggs just because of a fever, do they? The child's right, Lucy. She'll be fine. We must 
accommodate our lives to the fever for a few weeks, but we shan't overthrow our daily routine. It's important to, that we will not lose our heads. But, but Polly, whatever took that little imp away, it wasn't a fever. I promise you that. It could have been a sudden pleasury or weak heart. You worry too much. Always have. The market is the safest place in town next to own castle. Now let the child get some air. I'll write a list for you. I know what we need. Don't shop in any stalls below 3rd Street and stay away from 2nd Street Market completely and no ramble today. Go to the market and then you come home. I think we should buy extra bread at the Simeon's Bakery. We always run out. Good idea, girl. See there, Lucille, the, the child minds the shop as well as you. You mustn't be so, so hard on her.